Ravenel Brill Bridge looked a little purple today. The color of domestic violence awareness. Hundreds of people walked to show they won't put up with domestic abuse. This was the first year for the Project Unity Hope Walk, and I was there as survivors told their emotional and powerful stories. You know, nobody wants to talk about it. They want to ignore it. We're looking at someone who overcame every obstacle that came my way. Today, Samoya Hall walked the bridge with her kids. Those 2.5 miles are nothing compared to the uphill battle she fought to get here. And I was on a pavement, bleeding out, um, and losing consciousness while I was being strangled. And I know that is graphic to imagine, but it is real. And I feel like no one will ever get the point if we sugarcoat it. That was her breaking point. She knew one person in South Carolina, so she left Colorado and headed here. Well, I had had enough. I had found my strength back. I got my encouragement back, and I kept pushing. I saved up, and I decided that I was going to step out of that boat. I didn't care where I was going to go, how it would end, but I knew that whatever I chose to do would be better than staying and being abused. At first, she and her kids stayed at the homeless shelter 180 Place while she worked her way out. It wasn't the best, but for me, it was a piece of heaven because I had my peace of mind. I was safe, and my children were safe. I ended up moving way out to Monk's Corner. I didn't know nothing about the place, and I worked way in North Charleston, but I taught I walked 10 miles a day to get a paycheck working at McKesson. From the, I mean, I had holes in my shoes. Today, she walked to show others you have the power to do the same. You are looking at a living witness that what you are doing, the money that you provided, will definitely give another woman and another man a chance at a second life when they decide to make that choice to leave. I salute you all. My struggle was not for me. It's for everybody here that knows somebody that may have went through it or may have even lost somebody. It was not in vain, at least not as long as I'm alive.